No, I'm kidding. I'm going to use two hands. Now the mic is on. All right, guys. Back up in my office. Once again, like I always show you, it is empty. I'm going to close it, and that's what we're going to talk about from now on. All right. So, while I was setting up this video, and I wanted to measure the trigger pull on it for everyone, I had my hand in the wrong spot. As you can see right there, stupid hammer came flying forward and bit me. Now, just so you know, normally hammers are kind of blunt. This particular hammer is a very sharp point. Oh, you can't see it. Well, take my word for it. It's a sharp point. It hurt like hell. But, I bleed for you. So, a little history. This is actually a really old design. Uh, it goes way back many years. Um, in fact, while I was sitting in the rental case, I always looked at it and I was like, man, it really looks familiar and I'm really gonna show my age. But, I was like, it looks like an old police revolver. It looks like something out of the TV show, TJ Hooker. There you go, so I remember when those shows were new. And uh, so I looked it up on the internet and season one, episode one, William Shatner carried a Smith & Wesson Model 15. And I forgot the silence my phone so it went ding. All right, so originally this was the K-38 Combat and it had gone through its variants. It ended up getting picked up by the Air Force, which was later then replaced by the Beretta. Many police departments across the nation had it, especially LAPD. And one of the guys that I work with uh, is a retired deep officer for the state of Connecticut. And he was telling me when he first joined the department, they used to have these. And uh, when they'd run, these things would wobble around and fall out of the holster. I thought that was kind of funny. Okay, so real quick, I'm just going to go over some specs on this. Uh, I'm going to read them right off the, the notes that I have. So it is a 38 Smith & Wesson, so 38 Special. Its capacity is 6. The barrel length on this one is 4 inches. Its overall length is 9 inches, uh, nine inches 1 eighth with a 4 inch barrel. Its weight loaded is only 34 ounces. The sights in the front are a eighth inch uh, Bogman quick draw plane ramp. The rear sight is a Smith & Wesson micrometer click sight. It's adjustable for windage and elevation. The finish is blued carbon steel with some sun blasting and serrations uh, surrounding the sight area to break up light reflections. The trigger is a Smith & Wesson uh, with adjustable trigger stop and of course the ammunition like I said is a 38 Smith & Wesson special or a 38 Smith & Wesson special mid-range or 38 plus P. It's a six shooter double action single action the trigger pull in double action is going to be about six pounds on average and when you put it into single action you're only looking at about a three pound pull Overall, it's really accurate. It's fun to shoot. Only drawback is the sights are black on black. There is no contrast. So again, in a low light or nighttime situation, these sights can be incredibly hard to use to virtually useless. So thank God for modern firearms when they have some sort of contrast on here. But the nice part is the rear sight is 
adjustable. So you are able to get that zero depending on how far you want. 25 yards, 10 yards, 7 yards, whatever it's going to be. Whatever the department had set forth for a an average. Um, I couldn't tell you what this one's zeroed at, but I could tell you that I went back to 25 yards and uh, just shot it for fun just to see if I could hit the, the target and it did pretty good. Uh, it hit within about a quarter inch of what I was aiming at, so can't go wrong. You know, it's a nice little revolver, hold six. I, uh, I'm not a big revolver person, but this one I'd actually... I, I'd have it to keep in the safe and bring to the range, and that's about it. It's not something I personally would carry for every day, just because I like semi-automatics and I like more ammunition. So, if you're in the neighborhood and you have a state permit, and you want to try a Smith & Wesson Model 15 old-style revolver like the police had, uh, stop in, and you too can rent it for $10 a day. But... That's all I got about that. My hand hurts, and uh, we got 50,000 things going on out there, so I'm going to cut this video really short. As always, I'll see you guys on the trail.